Yeah. And then uh, in looter games, if you lock certain items b- behind certain content, then in, like, for example, I was playing um, Blade and Soul back in college and this one certain necklace could only drop from one certain boss in one certain dungeon. And one run took about 30 minutes and I had done maybe 172 runs of it. Never got my item. But in 200 runs, you get it guaranteed. This is bringing back Monster Hunter PTSD. <laughs> oh, so it's like, I'm gosh. sitting there doing the exact same dungeon because it only drops from one place. Yeah. And it's like a necessary item for my, for my class. So like, oh. even though it's like, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, different content should be different difficulty. Different items should be locked yeah. behind different content. Well, it's like, again, if your drop rates are shit, which they're meant to be that way, yeah, to keep people like me playing oh, 172 man. times, man, then it's like, you know, it's it's all psychological. Like, that's basically how games are with loot boxes, with battle passes, with free to play, pay to play, uh, live service subscriptions all that stuff like ea play Mm -hmm. they hope people don't cancel because then they just get free money like from me um yeah did you cancel yours yet no i just leave it oh man (laughs) you can play some battlefield game that i want to play it on you know play some battlefield then you can complain about it firsthand that's how they get you there might be a game sometime in the unknown future they might release something that's not trash that i will like yeah yeah (laughs) No, nah, I mean, I, I canceled literally the day I paid for it. I canceled. That's what I always do. I do the same with Disney+. Plus. Mm-hmm. Now I get it from, from Verizon, but anytime I do a subscription, I immediately cancel it. So I yeah. had two Damn. things to say based on what you just said. One was a hot take, but we'll do that one last. So the first one was like, playing Monster Hunter, that just, I don't know. I, again, it's a very fun game. You're fighting different monsters, but like, I could never complete any sets because you need this one thing. From this one mm-hmm. monster that just doesn't drop mm-hmm. it. You have all these teeth. Drop your fangs. Come on, let's go. Like I'm saying. <laughs> that's so true. It was like, yeah, you need a dragon scale. Like I You're Hello? full of scales. Like just <laughs> but, Like which um, one do you want? <laughs> the hot take was I don't I don't feel like everybody that plays certain games deserves all the loot. And I think that's been a big issue where everybody wants to get all the loot, but I feel like it should be locked behind a higher level which takes a higher skill level. Yeah. You know, so you have to get better at the game to be rewarded with this loot, not just keep playing over and over again and eventually you get it. I agree. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it basically came down when I was doing that dungeon mm-hmm. over and over. It came down to like, yeah, I can basically like do my notes, like study for college and run this dungeon at the same time. It just takes 35 minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't really have to pay attention when you get it down that many times like yeah. by that point i just de- i literally deserved that drop yeah. running it that many times mm-hmm. like yeah. yeah i could i could basically recite all of the like character text <laughs> <laughs> like do you wake up that's, in the, that's the night and just say the text <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's 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 man because like for monster hunter it wasn't really the AI wasn't the same, like, let's say, the spider monster from Anthem, because the monsters could go wherever they want to go. They could run away from you. Yeah, yeah. So that was actually refreshing to not to do the same exact path every time. Yeah. And they also true. don't show up all the time as well, I think. But the fights were just hard because, you know, they have these moves that you can't dodge all the time. Even when you yeah. do dodge, there's no iframe. It still gets you. But yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a fun game. Just the drop rates is just, I want to have the whole set. And then the sets themselves were like asking for a lot. Yeah. So my my thing with Monster Hunter, especially if you play on PC, mm-hmm. well, I guess especially if you play in modern times, uh, it is a local save based game. Mm-hmm. So this is what what we were talking about with Outriders before it came out, where if the save computer, someone will make a save editor, mm-hmm. and then there's no reason for you to grind like. Why would I grind for a rare drop? You know, I'll try it five times, and if I don't get it, let me edit my save so that I get it. Oh. So, for like Monster Hunter, I didn't even bother grinding because a save editor was available, and I was like, I don't need. I'll just play the story and then turn it off, like <laughs> because th- there's no reason to grind. Yeah, there's yeah. there's 
if you're not gonna force me to work for it, not to say why would I, but like, yeah. why am I gonna? Why did you make the drop rates like 0.5 percent on a game that I can edit my save and put it in there for free? Yeah. So I have a that question. brings me to my next question. Uh -oh. But go ahead, wanted. Um, it's about Anthem. And do you think a PVP would have saved Anthem? No. In some... Okay, let's move on. Let's go. <laughs> that... No, they needed a lot more than just PVP. Okay. I, I cannot imagine PVP working in that game. Yeah. People Literally just... everyone would, would ever only play like, what was it, Ranger? Mm -hmm. And what was the, the, the magic wizard. one? The wizard, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's only ever going to be that. You got freaking lock on rockets uh -huh. and magic. And then the other one's just a melee class. And it's the other one's a tank that literally flies extremely slow. Yeah. No. All right, go ahead, Mina. <laughs> so earlier you guys were talking about like end of game content. I think that's what it's called. But like, yeah. you know, after you unlock all the um, best equips for your character and all that stuff, what is there to do? What's left to do in the game? Mm -hmm. um, do you think games should balance themselves around like, because Sometimes I, in some games, I notice like if you're a person who's been playing the game forever, you're complaining that there's nothing to do. Uh -huh. But then if you're a person who's new, you're like, man, it's so hard to get the stuff that I need. Yeah. So like, how do you balance between those two things? Uh, I don't. I I think it kind of goes into uh, like how I was saying, just tier list balancing. Like whether you choose to balance around the casuals or you choose to balance around competitive uh -huh. either way you go you're affecting the other group somehow but in mmos it's a lot harder because you have to keep adding content like you can't stop you you can maybe have like a couple months of break yeah but that's enough time for like final fantasy 14 to release some content like oh i'll go i'll go play that yeah. And then when that's done, it's like, yeah, I'll cancel my sub and go play WoW. They just released a new expansion. So, like, I, I almost feel like it is more of, like, an ecosystem, like, kind of trap where everyone just bounces from game to game. Mm -hmm. But for the people that stay on one game, I, I don't know. I don't think they can realistically add enough content to keep players engaged that are, like, that no life a game yeah where it's like i'm gonna come home from work and play for 10 hours and then go to sleep and then come home from work and play for 10 hours like you can't you can't keep up with that yeah mm. so I, I don't know i don't know how to how to really answer that question i think if if your game is fun people will play it yeah you know just like people still play freaking like warzone and fortnite and there's not really anything to unlock in those games besides cosmetics yeah so, I feel like somebody beginning a game, of course, it's going to be like daunting to them, but well, you just started. So there's nothing to complain about if you just started. I feel like that's what happens yeah. in most games where there's like an echo chamber of like, it's so hard, it's so hard. But you don't understand how hard it gets to be yet because you're just beginning. Yeah. When you get to the end game now, you have to grind for that one weapon or that one armor piece. Yeah. Then you're going to see what hard it is. And I feel like that's a problem that we have in these echo chambers where... There's a problem that's not really a big problem, but because it's like growing and growing and growing, that becomes a problem when there's things that could be fixed that are really problems. Yeah. But for the people at the I end agree. of the game, I guess you just have to wait for content to be released. You go do old quests that you liked or something, but like I said, like they can't keep making content all the time. I think it's impossible. Yeah, or I mean, that, that also... Go ahead, Nino. I was saying, or they could just go help the noobs. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they they could, but then it's kind of like that's just something that you make up to do. Yeah, you know, like yeah. you you could definitely go do that. You can like go walk back and forth between towns <laughs> if you want. <laughs> I mean, you just go run old content again if you want. Yeah, but um, that's Ooh, that's where idea. like drop rates come in. I have an idea. They wanna go ahead and watch it. They could do um like little Easter eggs like side quests that are like literally impossible like find the red robin in the oak tree oh god yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then hey guys and then data find miners this needle in a haystack 
<laughs> Gate of Miners on day one will come out and say like, yeah, don't don't accept that quest. It'll delete your character. <laughs> it'll, it'll literally make you start over. That's the Easter egg. Have fun playing again. Oh man. <laughs> Easter egg. Delete data. Yeah. Golly. Yeah, like they they make the drop rates low enough so that you have to like keep keep going back uh-huh. and then, like. If you just so happen to get one on your first try, it's like, oh, hell yeah, I love this game. Then you keep playing. Yeah. And then if you don't get it on your first try, you keep working for it. And by the time you do 200 runs, new content is out that you can grind 200 times. Hmm. So Zenko in yeah. chat said they changed that in Monster Hunter World because investigations give much higher drop rates for parts that you need than regular quests. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Thank hmm. goodness. Yeah, I, I always thought like, if you're going to make it a local save kind of thing and like you already know people are going to make save editors and mods and stuff uh-huh. and like especially one of the reasons I never got into Monster Hunter was because and also why I like Dauntless over Monster Hunter. There is no Dauntless 2. You know, yeah. there's Monster Hunter World and then there's Monster Hunter Rise and then there's going to be I think Monster Hunter Rise coming to PC. Uh-huh. So you leave behind your progress to play the next game, but why are you making me grind like it's an MMO? Yeah. It's not an MMO. It's a single player, well, co op sort of, yeah. you know, one off game. There's going to be a two, there's going to be a three. Why do I have to grind like it's my job? Yeah. Like, yep. essentially, you beat the monster once and just move on. If I want to grind or like go for more drops, it shouldn't be ridiculous. Uh-huh. Yeah, I agree. 